This is uh, Richard back at Precision Transmissions. We're gonna go over the uh, 4R70 uh, W transmission, uh, the birth of it. Uh, started out with the uh, uh, AOD, the AODE, and then the 4R70 W. The AOD was a cable uh, shifted tranny where it had a TV cable that went up to the carburetor to make it shift. And then the AODE was a computer control design with a computer plugged into here to make it work. Now, the AOD E has a white connector. The 4R70W has a black connector. That's how you can tell the two. Real simple. So, I did a lot of changes with this training here. Uh, the first design was a mechanical lockup. Is it like a direct drive lockup? Uh, the uh, third gear shaft uh, right here splined into here and then uh, went into the torque converter and made it a direct drive when it went into the third gear to where this version here has a, a single shaft coming out of the hole in it that locks the torque converter up computer controlled. So also how you can tell part two is the AODE and the 4R70W, the 4R70W has a, a yellow seal and it's bigger where the AODE has a lot smaller seal. You see the difference here that's how you can identify them too so let's get this off let me go over something here real quick I it down. Mm -hmm. anytime Man. you get one of these in here that has this little plug in it right here they put this plug in the transmission from the factory and what they do when this transmission is sitting on the shelf it's sitting in there like that so when they put it in the car and they go to uh, put the dipstick tube in that puts fluid in it. They just knock it on through like that and then it stays in the pan. So when we get these trannies in here and we take the pan off, uh, we'll know that the transmission has never been serviced. Now this does take a deep filter on the 4R70W, a deeper pan. You can see the dimple in it, the pan right there. Of course, this tranny here is uh, burning up pretty good. We'll see what's wrong when we take it apart. You see all the trash on the magnet and stuff. So let's get this apart. Now you still have your output speed sensor right here. Either this will tell the vehicle how the computer how fast the vehicle is going, or the sensor will be on the rear end itself and tell the computer how fast it's going. Or this sensor will do it too. Now this is your neutral safety switch. This is what you see light up on the dash when you move your shifter like this. It tells a signal to the switch right here. Go up to the dash and to the computer to tell it what gear you got it in, whether it's park, reverse, neutral, uh, to turn on your backup lights or anything like that. I'll show you how to set this really quick. A lot of people replace these at home, but they don't know how to set them. Now, if you look right here, you can see these two lines. You see that line there, and then that little line right here. You take and put this transmission in park. Put that on there real quick. It's in park, you go to neutral park, reverse, neutral, and they should line up. So you take these two screws right here, I already pulled one out. But you can take and move that, see like that. But you put this in neutral, line that up just like that, tighten your bolts down, and that's how it's adjusted. We put a flat pan on these. It makes it easier to get on the transmission jack and get it out of the vehicle. That's why you see that like that compared to the, the factory pan I showed you a minute ago. Now, the AODE transmission 
it had this plug coming in here like this and it has wiring coming in that plugs to uh, your shift solenoid, your lockup solenoid, and your pressure control solenoid. And it also has a temp sensor uh, that plugs into here. Well, this has a temp sensor built into this plastic uh, bracket right here like this. And that's how you can tell too. We'll get our little souvenir out of here real quick. We see these things come in with 100, 150,000 miles on them, have them in the pan where they've never been serviced. This thing here, you wanna be careful, pop it off, it comes right off. Take a little screwdriver, kind of get under it. Get that right there. Like that. It's just a little circuit board that plugs into all the solenoids instead of having wiring. Like that. Shift solenoids, your lockup solenoid for your torque converter. Your pressure control solenoid that controls all the pressure. Of course, you have your park linkage. Move back and forth right here to lock it in park. Got it locked in there. Spins. Park. Locks right in. I'll turn it a little bit. first time when we clean these trains and build them back they have to be so clean and this gray film right here see that right there that is a nightmare for a new transmission so when we clean these things you really got to be able to eat off of them because the first initial startup on this transmission will clean the fluid is real high detergent and it'll physically clean it uh, itself if you don't and then next thing you know you got your filter stopped up and stuff like that this is the valve body I'm not going to get in depth with it it's got all your shift valves and stuff like that in there the, ga the kit will come with two different gaskets this gasket will be the same and the other bottom one will be two they'll have two of them so you want to match them up make sure you get the right one so right here is your two three accumulator right here you have a spring and a piston down in here like this so when it shifts into third gear it physically uh, pushes on the back of this piston and softens the shift up with this right here you can stack some pennies in there three or four pennies in there firm third gear up a little bit it helps out quite a bit or you can get a shift kit gives you a little bit stronger spring and actually give you a spacer that goes on top to shorten the piston travel so but you can put three or four pennies on there and it, it'll actually help quite a bit. Things they and had this, to do before shift kits. Yeah. Back in the day, we made a lot of our stuff. So, now this is your three, four accumulator. Uh, this uh, softens your overdrive shift. the AOD transmission the early model uh, actually this was aluminum and had a little o-ring around here and right here and that sliding up and down in that bore so much that these o-rings would fail and it was just a bad design it didn't last very long so they did go up to the molded or the bonded piston style with rubbers made on it but you definitely uh, when you rebuild these you want to make sure this stuff is really soft if it's any type of hardness you better get rid of it and put a new one in there 
The shift kit will come with different springs. It'll come with a spacer in here that actually stops this from moving all the way to the top. So we like to put a, a shift kit in every one of these because this transmission has uh, really bad problems with uh, high line pressure. Uh, it'll break the, the case, it'll break pistons, it'll break the drums, all that type of stuff. It'll spike you know, over 300 pounds once it gets a little bit of valve body wear in the transmission. So we put a kit in there that uh, will physically eliminate that from happening. Now what I'm taking here now, this is your reverse uh, band apply uh, servo. Right here. There's a band down here that I'll show you in a minute that goes around a drum that fluid gets behind this piston and shoves this band down to apply reverse. Now this training has two things that uh, makes it back up. You have your reverse band and you have a reverse clutch up inside here that uh, makes it back up. This uh, bonded piston right here, you wanna check it, make sure it's really soft. If it's any type of hard, you get rid of it. And the same thing with the cover. These covers are really soft and they're bad about getting hard. This one's really getting firm. So you wanna replace all of these no matter what. You can get them in a kit, an overhaul kit. Some of them will come with it all or just when you order your parts, uh, ask for it. They're all the same length. They're, there's no different adjustments, so you'll be easy to get. Now this one here is your overdrive uh, servo right here that applies your overdrive band. Now, to put this back together, let me show you a little tool I got. Uh, this is a tool that sets in here and pushes this piston down uh, to get this snap ring in there. Uh, when you build this tranny, you can take this in and out as many times as you want and you put it back in, the band will always line up with this pin right here. Well, with this here, if you ever take this out one time, uh, you can't get it, you, it don't line back up with the band. Let me get this out of here. So, we've actually, uh, you can drill a hole in here and we can run a screwdriver in here if we ever have to do something crazy to get to hold that band to get to it. But if you pull this out, the band moves to one side and it won't line up if you ever try to put it back in the vehicle or put this back in when it's in the vehicle. The pump has to be out. We have to line it up with a screwdriver and stuff like that to get that line back up. Still a bonded piston. You wanna check for rubber right here. Make sure that's really soft. If it's not, get rid of it. These have a bad problem. See how that wobbles in that piston? This piston's wore plumb out. See that? These snap rings break too. The overhaul kit that we buy comes with a new snap ring. It doesn't come with a piston. You have to ask for it, but it will come with a snap ring. But you might want to ask for the snap ring if you order a kit too, but that, that's poor plumb out. So even though the seal's good here, it's gonna leak so bad around this pin and burn the overdrive band up because it just can't pressure up on it. So you got to check it multiple places. You know, just to be able to identify uh, wear spots in a tranny is so critical when you put them back together because not everybody can look at a part and tell that it's good. So uh, being able to look at stuff is really critical and tell if it's bad. Now, this is the pump here. This still has a aluminum piston in it. So this is a little bit early design. Uh, that uh, This here applies your uh, second gear clutch. This piston right here does. Well, the new style, a little bit later for our 70Ws, this piston is bonded. In other words, the seal is made onto this piston and it don't come off, so you have to buy another piston. It's, it's, it's the same thing as this right here, but it's just a bigger version. Uh, and this piston comes out uh, and pushes against these clutches right here that I'm fixing to pull out. So the newer the uh, tranny, the, the, they did change it again in the pump, but they didn't change the pump gear size. This is kind of crazy. Ford's been really bad about uh, 
not getting their pump right. It seems like they got to do two or three changes every time they do something. But this one, actually, they did get the pump right. They didn't do any changes to them. Anything like that. These are pumps are really good. There's hardly ever any wear in them. Put a new set of gears in them. They'll be good. Just look at your wear from here to here. Make sure there's no gruts or anything because you got suction and your uh, pressure. So... Same way in here, you want to make sure there's no big rut here. It, you see a little scarring, but if you feel it, there's no scarring, it's just discoloring. So everything looks really good in there too. So they put a little uh, clip right here, and I'll explain to you why. What it does is it keeps these clutches quiet from rattling in the case right here. When they put this sprag assembly in here, this has a ratchet sprag in it, and it's real noisy and it causes these clutch to chatter in the case right here while it's sitting there running or it just going down the road. So let me get this out and I'll show you this little tank. Okay, this is what this retainer looks like. It's kind of, it's a scientific thing. I don't know where they got the idea of what, what it needs to look like, but that's what it looks like. It sits in here, keeps these clutches from rattling and I'll show you how, why it rattles. This is your second gear clutch. It's starting to get burnt pretty good. But this is the rattle while that, uh, this piece is in there. What they did is they went with a diode sprag. And this sprag is really noisy. Listen to this. Hear that? Well, that noise right there and the way this operates, it causes these clutches and steels to clatter in the case. And this retainer right here stops it. Now the AOD tranny has a, a roller style. It's got rollers and springs and there's no chatter. It just turns. Well, when they went to this style, it's a chatter. Now, when they went to this tranny too, they up, supposedly updated it, but to me, they made it worse. This tranny has all stamped steel drums in it. They're made out of pop metal. If you look at this, it's made out of pop metal. It's cheap metal. If you look at this drum, it's made out of cast iron. If you look at uh, this drum here, which is like this drum, it's made out of cast iron. Well, this is the AOD tranny. This is the 4R70W, and they went to pop metal. So, what happens is, uh, this high line pressure problem I was telling you about It'll split this drum all the way around here and blow this piston out like this and the vehicle will quit moving. So the problem we got now with this one here is uh, the overdrive bands burn up. That goes around this drum. You can see all the metal just embedded in the band. Now this drum is no good. It's already grooved it up so bad it'll never be used again. Had to put another drum in it. Now we were talking about uh, backing up earlier. This is a reverse clutch inside this drum. So in other words, your overdrive bands around it. Your second gear clutch goes around the diode sprag. Your reverse clutch is on the inside. Now, either this thing's been low out, low on oil before, or he's pretty abusive. He's probably had it in the mud or something and got it stuck because this tranny's pretty burnt up. Look at the forward clutch. This clutch here, when you put it in gear, it moves it forward. Now, this clutch here, this tranny here, is the forward overdrive is the only tranny that the forward clutch comes off in overdrive. So, in other words, when this tranny makes an overdrive shift, the forward clutch comes off. So if it comes to stop and this clutch didn't come back on, you'd be in neutral. So when you make a four, three downshift, this clutch has to come on and the third gear clutch has to come on. That's down in here, I'll get to it. So we got a burn up forward clutch. We got a burn up reverse clutch. We've got an overdrive band that's smoked. We got a second gear clutch that's uh, working on it. Working on it.
Well, this is probably where we started having some issues and possibly where some of this metal come from in here. We found a, a broken snap ring down in here that is all busted out. Oh, yeah. Looks like it might have ate some of it. Yeah, there's another piece missing. Huh. I don't see it yet. Let me get I'm going to take two. Okay, we'll set it up here again like this. Here we have another one of these Sprague assemblies that spins one way, not the other. You can see it down in there. This is your planetary assembly. You can see the heat getting on it from the clutch being burnt down here. But this is your reverse band I was talking about that uh, this uh, big piston comes in here and, and puts on right there it pushes on that to plow reverse and you also have this clutch right here comes on in reverse too so this clutch this band comes on and you back up like that this clutch right here comes on you go forward this here's your third gear clutch And we're back to another pop metal drum. And I have a good one right where I find it. I'm sorry. You can see here the AOD and the AODE has a steel drum where the late model AODEs and the 470 does have a stamped steel. They cheapened it up quite a bit. Like that. The third gear clutch is dark too. So this tranny has a lot of issues. It's gonna take quite a bit to get it back into a good operating condition. But I think we can get her done. So there you go on the 4 70 w tranny, uh, the AODE, stuff like that. So if you need any uh, things done, give us a holler at Precision Transmissions or check us out on uh, YouTube. Uh, and stop by our shop. Uh, we're always here having fun. So come out and see us. Have a good day.